Um intro rápido aqui. Uh, good morning, everyone. I, Dhruvan Mehta, on behalf of Finance Club of JC Bhavnagar, welcome you all. I would like to welcome our principal, sir, Dr. J.P. Vododhiriya, sir, him, uh, higher faculty coordinator, Dr. Himansu Srivastava, sir, and our guest speaker for today, Mr. Jitendra Rawal, sir. Under the guidance of uh, principal, sir, head faculty coordinator, and our club's faculty coordinator, Professor Hardi Sangvi, ma'am, we, the uh, Finance Club of CC Bhavnagar, has organized an event named A Financial Talk with Jitendra Rawal. For today's event, we have Mr. Jitendra Rawal, sir. Mr. Jitendra Rawal, sir, is a former banker and uh, presently providing his expertise in a financial counselor at ICICI Foundation. Now, I would like to request Mr. Jitendra Rawal, sir, to please carry on the session. Thank you, Dhruvi. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you, Vododhuriya Sahib, Dr. Srivatsava, sir, who has provided me this opportunity to have a talk on financial literacy for your students. Uh, as Dhruv has said, uh, my name is Jitendra Rawal. I am a retired banker and at presently associated with ICICA Foundation. And uh, this foundation has got many such charitable activities. One of them is to spread financial literacy. For that, they have appointed uh, many counselors like me, Pan India. And uh, we all go to schools, colleges, and give this financial literacy about one hour lecture free of cost. We do not charge anything. Sorry, sir. Continue. Okay. Ah. Huh. Huh. Now, uh, we'll start with this PPT. Financial literacy. Why financial li uh, literacy matters? Because money matters. There are many of the people who have good earnings this date, but they do not have any much of knowledge about the finance. So this is financial literacy, means basics of finance we are going to start with. Financial literacy is an important part of avoiding financial mistakes and planning for a strong, secure financial future. Now, understanding personal finance, today's agenda. It is different from corporate finance. Personal finance comprises savings, deposits and investment, borrowings, loans, protection, security. That is insurance and avoiding financial costs. Transfer of wealth to heirs, nomination, will, estate planning, etc. Financial life journey of an individual. This is, uh, everybody knows that up to 20, 25 years will be still dependent on the parents and the, thereafter you will start earning. It will be earning, a person will be earning till the age of 60, 65, where he will require all this knowledge of financial literacy. He will be using them. And once he reaches his retirement age, he will be reaping the benefits of his savings and investments. Because at that time, uh, earnings will be limited, spendings will go on, life will go on, medical expenses may increase. And so this is the time to consolidate their savings and investment and use it properly. Savings deposit investment. Importance of savings. We all know that saving is very important. During this corona period, there were so many people who had not saved properly and they had to undergo lot many problems during that period. So savings is important, we all know. Now, tips for savings. Budgeting is an important part and tool for saving. Segregate all your incomes and expenses, right? This is the process of making budget. Segregate all your incomes and expenses. Categorize your expenses as well as important, uh, least important, much important. That is, you prioritize your expenses. Settle the expenses through your income, which is limited. Figure out ways in which you can curtail your expenses. 
ensure that your income exceeds the expenses with a wider margin as possible save a fixed amount from your income and use balance amount for your expenses you can think about investment only from assured saving now you see we all know that it is important to save but the question is how much to save financial experts say if you uh, if you want to achieve all your dreams you have to save 25% of your income and invest the bam you see savings and investment goes hand in hand you have to save 25% of your income okay to begin with uh, when you start your first job you may think that it may not be possible to save 25% no problem you decide it yourself how much you can save under the given circumstances under your given circumstances if you think that okay i will say uh, save 20000 right you can uh, alright 20% right suppose your income is 15000 okay you and you want to save 20% so 20% of 15000 is 3000 right 3000 is your savings and remaining 12000 is your expenditure now this you have already made your budget budget has got only two sides sources of fund that is from where money will come in and deployment of fund that is where the money will go on the two sides and on uh, on the part of source sources of funds obviously you will be writing your salary if you are already doing some uh, part time job salary from that source also right if you have got some fixed deposit in the bank and if you are getting interest over them then you have to show that also is your income right out of this you have to save 25% now to begin with you start saving uh, 20% so it is 3000 so your in so in your now small budget you will be writing sources salary 15000 right deployment of funds savings 3000 and expenditure 12000 that is all that is your budget to begin with all budgets are being made like this only budget making process is so simple but only thing is while making any kind of budget even if it is of a nation you have to get all this information about the sources of income and expenditure right that may take time investment what is an investment investment is buying an asset to generate returns from it over a period of time while also taking care of risk and volatility risk and volatility of the market that you have to take in your stride if you buy gold and keep it for years with an expectation to increase it in its value it's an investment buying mutual funds bonds shares properties are all various kinds of investment the prime focus of investment should be beating the inflation rate with the widest possible margin we'll also talk i'll give you an example of this inflation now you see investment meant what is investment now we have learn okay let us study inflation money can't buy the same amount of goods in the futures something that costed 1000 rupees 10 years ago will cost much more today in other words the value of money decreases with time in other words the value of money decreases with time because of inflation the rate at which value currency decreases is called inflation ગુજરાતીમાં જો આપણે કેવું હોય તો ઇન્ફ્લેશન ને આપણે ફુગાવો તરીકે સંબોધીએ છીએ ફુગાવો એટલે કે મોંઘવારી ભાવ વધારો ફોર એક્ઝામ્પલ આઈ ગીવ યુ માય ઓન એક્ઝામ્પલ સપોઝ એટ પ્રેઝન્ટ ઇફ યુ આર એબલ ટુ બાય ટુ કિલો ઓફ પ્યોર ઘી એટ થાઉઝન્ડ રૂપીઝ ઓકે એટ થાઉઝન્ડ રૂપીઝ સો નાઉ યુ આર ગેટિંગ ટુ કિલો ઓફ પ્યોર ઘી એટ થાઉઝન્ડ રૂપીઝ સપોઝ ધ રેટ ઓફ ઇન્ફ્લેશન ઇઝ about 5% now rate of inflation is about 5% now okay now even in, on this present day you also place a fixed deposit of rupees 1000 with your bank where the banker will give you say around 5.5% okay now this is the present thing you are able to buy 2 kg of uh, ghee at 1000 uh, rupees that is 500 rupees per kg and you also place 1000 rupees in your in your fixed deposit account 
which will give you 5.5 percent of return yearly now let us see the see after one year what will happen now during that one year inflation must have increased by five percent so two kg of pure ghee which you are getting at uh, thousand rupees will cost you at that date at thousand fifty right and the banker when you have placed your fixed deposit of thousand rupees will repay the deposit with interest so he will be giving you 1055 rupees right so after one year the scenario is you have to pay 50 rupees more for your 2 kg right at the same time your income has also grown by 55 rupees right so here one side your income is increased 55 rupees because of interest which you earn and on the other side inflation has played its game and your 2 kg is now costlier by 50 rupees now ultimately what you have got is only 5 rupees 55 increase is there in your salary but 50 of 50 rupees of that amount is being eaten away by the inflation so you get only 0.5 percent is 50 rupees you got on thousand rupees if you convert it into percentage it will be 0.5 percent only so this is your real rate of interest this is your real rate of interest okay so this is how this inflation plays such a havoc to your future earnings okay? how to do investment investment starts only after savings obviously it requires great discipline and patience now you see what is the uh, fund of savings fund of saving is first you save and then spend first save and then spend that is whenever you get your first salary your first job first salary from that day itself you start your savings how will you save now you see uh, you have to save 25 percent now we know it but your circumstances doesn't prevent uh, doesn't permit you to save 25 percent so you have decided to save only 20 percent so actually you, you had decided to save 3000 rupees right 20 percent of 15000 your initial salary is suppose right so out of that 3000 uh, your salary is 50, you have received your salary 15,000, right? First, you take out your savings part, which you have decided to save 3,000. Keep it aside. Keep it aside. Keep aside your savings, right? And have only the amount of 12,000, which you, are, you have permitted yourself to spend. Okay? You have only that much amount which you are required to spend. Savings side ma Don't touch it. Otherwise, if you start spending out of that fifteen thousand without saving initially, then at the end of the month, it is possible that you must have spent every penny of your fifteen thousand earnings. It is possible. Right? We do not know where the money goes. These days, nobody is keeping an account of uh, households. That is earlier. Everybody used to have an account book for the expenses made during the year. 15,000 salary has come out of that. How he has spent every five. They used to maintain account. These days it is not possible and nobody does it. Right? So that is why you keep your savings amount first separate. Keep only the amount which you are required to spend. That is how only you can make savings. Otherwise, you will not be able to make. Savings and investment options. Bank and post office savings bank account, bank recurring deposit, fixed deposit, NSC, KVP from post office. Post office also has many good schemes. Sometimes when you want to invest, you can also try and go to a post office and ask for the various schemes which they offer. Okay. Company deposits. Now, actually, company deposits, they are also being uh, uh, given grading by various crystal and other agencies okay so you have this company deposit placed only in the highest graded uh, deposits right public provident fund now you know public provident fund how much interest it offers it is about seven to eight percent maybe 8.5 every year they revise this rate of interest 
and actually the same rate of interest being given on your provident fund which is being deducted by your employer okay. then government bonds stocks and shares obviously mutual fund mutual fund investment sip buying real estate gold coins jewelry ornaments pension funds national pension scheme etc right now let us check the risk level and liquidity level of your savings and investments risk level where the risk level is low in your savings bank account fd and ppf because there is no risk involved you are you are sure that you will get your money back medium term gold and real estate because even uh, when you want to encash this gold and real estate we know that prices are always moving up there will be time when there will be stagnation but otherwise always the market value of gold and real estate is going up right there can be some stats high risk is where it is in the stock market because stock market is volatile volatility is prices can go up and we do not know when it will come down or we do not know when it will go up nobody can time the market to enter the market neither to exit the market you know liquidity where is where the liquidity is low real estate because if you want to uh, liquefy your asset that is liquidity is ability of an asset to convert itself into cash that is liquidity real estate if you want to uh, and cash will have, it will take time you will have to buy a right by who is able to pay your price right it is only then the deal can be struck and you can sell the asset real estate medium term liquidity fd is ppf gold of okay, the medium term it, uh, it is given here that is why because only thing is you, to, you may have to go to the bank on and cash the thing and all there may be some uh, period of your fd ppf has got certain restrictions on on its withdrawals right that is gold of course you may have to wait for the price right you have to go to the goldsmith and give the gold and then you can sell it high liquidity say that in your savings bank account right this is risk level and that's a one thing i would like to share here with you is the risk level of an individual is different second risk level of an individual is conversely proportionate to his age younger the person risk his risk taking capacity will be higher because he has got long period of earnings say for example you start earning at 25 ultimately you are going to retire only at 60 you got 35 years of earnings with you right so that is why you can take the risk as your age grows you will you will not be able to take the risk say at the age of 60 we have seen this also in the earlier slides you know at the age of 60 that is the time of consolidation of your savings and investments you cannot start investment at the age of your retirement you know so risk level is conversely proportionate to your age mutual funds what is mutual funds a mutual fund is a mechanism that pools the savings of a member of investors who share common financial goals financial goals whatever it is but only thing is you are able to share your risk with so many people the money thus collected is invested by the fund manager in different types of securities mutual funds give the market returns and not assured returns nobody can give any kind of assurances for your returns on share market in the long term market returns have the potential to perform better than other assured return products this is important now actually what is the cycle of uh, mutual fund you see all the investors they come together pool their funds together in a mutual fund this pool of funds goes to fund manager he will decide he is the deciding factor where to invest and from where to withdraw his funds right so actually he buys securities invest in securities 
and he will generate returns and if that return is passed on back to the investor how it is possible they have got that uh, nps right so use hisab se wo paisa aapko mil sakta hai it is easier to in, uh, invest in. moreover in mutual funds they also have many of the large mutual funds they have got a team of researchers and the fund manager himself will be an expert for making uh, research from uh, for the scripts he wants to buy he will be making a judicious uh, logical uh, decision based on the data available on the stocks all this data is everywhere available only thing is you know from where to collect but normal people like you and me we do not have that much of time to study the market and then take a decision okay so that is why mutual funds are comparatively better than making direct investments benefits of investing in mutual funds professional management easy liquidity reduction diversification of risk because so many people your risk is divided into so many number of members well regulated investor protections is available low operating cost convenient administration flexibility of investment that is you can mutual fund also keeps on uh, changing their portfolios investing in mutual funds through sip systematic investment plan or sip is a time for investment method where you can invest a fixed or variable amount at regular investment intervals in an investment scheme important features of sips are perfect for first time investors and retail investors like you all when you start your earnings in mutual this is the best way to start your investment includes the discipline of investing regularly because every month you have to pay an amount generally you will have to give an ecs and so through ecs every month this sip will be deducted from your account and it will go to the mutual fund ease of investing automated process of flexibility and flexibility now here flexibility what is actually the thing is suppose uh, you have taken an sip of 1000 rupees okay every month you are paying 1000 rupees but suppose you got a boss and you want to invest more in this you can that is flexibility you can uh, you can invest more than 1000 rupees also okay 1000 rupees may go through your uh, uh, ecs but you can additional amount you can just remit it to your mutual okay rupee cost averaging rupee cost average because this all these investments are maintained for a longer period no worries about market ups and downs even if it goes up or even if it goes down will be absorbed by the mutual fund because of its length of period of investment power of compounding effect we'll also talk about this power of compounding effect at a, uh, in later side uh, though return is not assured it is generally higher than back sbrd account in a longer period no exit load no lock, lock in period power of company power of company compounding is also called interest on interest apne jane vyaj nu vyaj kiye se same thing actually we know about compounding interest actually all the banks they levy a compounding interest okay now in compounding the benefit the return becomes higher compared to simple interest obviously samjha you watch in the long term huge benefits can accrue from compounding if the money is allowed to re remain invested this is important in order to get the compounding effect you have to remain invested 
what is power of component this is an example of power of component if amount invested via sip of say 1000 rupees it is presumed that it will give you 8% of return and if you maintain this si sip for 60 years what will be the compounding effect that you will be uh, getting by way of return suppose if you start earning at 25 at your, at your age of 25 here of course we are other other age uh, groups are also given total years of investment will be 35 to reach 60 like 25 plus 35 is 60 every month regularly without fail you are investing 1000 rupees let us take the smallest example 1000 rupees every month you are investing you are investing for 35 years that is that is that your own investment will be 1000 into 35 into 12 Which will come to your total amount saved will be four lakhs twenty thousand in thirty-five years. Now, actually, you're not uh, taken out four lakhs twenty thousand at one go. TP TP sorrow brai ni jam tam me dar maine aja aja rupee pariya. Right? Every month you pay thousand rupees and you have got your total investment up to that thirty-five thirty-five uh, years of investment will be four lakhs twenty thousand. Okay, thirty-five years of investment. This is now. When you reach the age of sixty, how much you'll get? Twenty-two lakhs eighty thousand. Walking amount. Suppose this is the example of thousand rupees we are talking of. Right? If you start at the age of thirty-five, you'll have to save thousand four hundred rupees because you are. Total years of investment is reduced to twenty-five from thirty-five. In that case, your total amount saved will be four lakhs twenty-five, twenty thousand, right? And how much you'll get? It is only ten lakhs thirty thousand. Why? Because your investment period was restricted, limited to twenty-five thousand. It was not thirty-five. So it is always advisable to start. your savings as well as investment at the earliest age you know we all know warren buffett you know when he started his first investment when he was i think uh, around 11 or 13 that was the age when he started his investment now actually our boys they do not know what is investment or what is savings at the age of 11 and 13 that's the difference earliest early bird gets some sign bank loans to individual loans available we all know so many loans are available there are so many advertisements and all no more about your loans analyze objectively what are the things you have to bear in mind when you borrow money from a bank analyze objectively and determine how much loan you would need and how you are going to repay the loan both the things you have to consider okay how much loan you need yes try to have this the minimum borrow for a productive income generative activity repay loan from this income now actually all the banks generally they provide this loan only for the productive purposes what is productive purpose productive purpose is a purpose wherein the loan a person who is availing the loan uh, he will be generating income out of it one thing or the value of his asset will go up for example housing loan right housing loan you have taken okay uh, housing loan you have to obviously you have to mortgage right and you have availed housing loan you have got the possession of the house right? now if it is your first house up till now you were you were uh, staying in a rented house right you shift to your new house you will have to you will not have to pay your rent now so the amount of rent which you are paying is saved okay so that is your generating income are you getting it right so this is the generation of income through loan Suppose 
if it is not your first house and you do not move in even in such a case you can let out that new house and start generating rent so that is income generating activity for example you take the uh, business loan industry loan sme loans uh, every loan they will be generating in of course there are some two three exceptions say for example car loan car loan doesn't generate income nor the value of the car will increase the value of car will, de will decrease uh, at, as the year passes and instead of generating income you have to spend on your car by filling in your petrol right so still banks give car loan why because of your dealings with that bank you maintain your account with that bank for such a long period he wants your comfort he wants your comfort if you don't have your ac car in that case you have to go to your office either in a bus there will be so much of rush or in a share rickshaw sukda ne betho ane jao tumhe office what will happen you will be exhausted by the by the time you reach office you not be able to give your full potential to the work right you need half an hour to sit down and get back yourself so that is how this car loan is being given by the uh, bankers they want your comfort because of your relations second thing personal loan that's also like this right but okay, otherwise all the loans that is being given to the person they are all for the productive purpose now you must utilize the loan only for the purpose for which you have availed it don't diversify the loan amount i'll give you a so, small example suppose you got your own business right you got 20 lakhs of cc limit cash credit limit it is like your current account only but it is basically a borrower account okay 20 lakhs cc limit you got so you are able to buy stock worth 20 lakhs add your Uh, margin of profit, say ten percent, okay, and you sell it. You sell it either by cash, so cash is generated. Even if you sell it on credit, that is, debtors will be generated, and debtors will pay you back. So again, that debtors is converted into cash, and so ultimately, again, you are going to buy twenty-two lakhs of worth of stock, twenty lakhs original plus ten percent your profit. Your profit, your you also you have kept your profit in the bank in your business itself right so this is how your cycle will start okay now suppose there is a marriage in a family you withdraw 5 lakhs and spend on the marriage what will happen oh your guests will all be very happy they, they will say that oh you have done a very good marriage you have spent so much on uh, your uh, food plot party plot these that and all it was a beautiful event Everybody will come, raise, raise your marriage, and they will go. They will not bear the burden of your five lakhs for whatever the amount you spend, right? So think twice while making such expenses, which are all going down the drain in the gutter, and because they do not give you anything back. There is no value for money except the tax, and of course, your daughter in laws will also praise. Ah, but we don't know how they will treat your daughter. Anyhow, so we always expect all the good things for our children. So that is why we are spending. But you can think it and decide how much it is worth or how much it is necessary for such spending. when you borrow keep these things in mind abide by the repayment terms and conditions and pay all installments on time and in full try to automate the payment of installment that is you can give uh, your standing instructions to withdraw to debit your account for the loan saving generally this will be required only where you borrow loan from a bank where you do not maintain your savings bank account otherwise generally Savings bank में से भी वो ले सकते हैं. You can give your aside. If you want surplus 
fund deposit in loan account it will reduce your interest burden obviously when you get your bonus you can deposit that in your this is a surplus fund you can deposit your loan account and so your interest burden will be reduced you pay the high interest bearing loans early right compounding effect of loan is very dangerous because bank always charge compounded interest compounded effect of loan is very dangerous your dues will rise to an alarming level in short time bear this in mind now we have talked talk, talked about compounding effect on your earnings now this is compounding effect on your loan these two things are going in opposite directions regular payment of emi will improve your credit score what is credit score avoid multiple credit cards yes you don't need so many cards you maintain only one card of the bank where you maintain your account or you where you deal with there's no need to have so many cards it will only prompt you to spend more credit card is the best buddy but the worst foe civil what is civil civil they give scores just like your uh, progress report in your college or school 300 to 550 poor average 550 to 650 good 650 to 750 750 to 900 right now this is also like your progress report in school or college now you see in, pro in your progress report you have got one cut off line right the cut off line is your passing mark right if you get marks over that you are pass if you get marks below that passing mark you are fail right same rule applies here in your uh, credit report now this sibil give this report right and all the banks have got uh, a certain passing mark for giving loans right actually they don't want excellent even if it is good they, it is acceptable to them they know that there will be some some messes in your repayment sometime somewhere or whatever so they have that uh, one passing mark that is a score score level up to which they can accept lapses right say for example for any bank if uh, the score level for your civil rating is about say 750 right so if you get score up to 750 that is above the your uh, passing mark you will be you will be getting the loan from the bank if your score is below 750 below 750 you will not get the loan this is how it functions civil what is civil it collects the and maintains records of an individual details payment to loans and credit cards and history of return information collected by civil is then used to evaluate and approve loan applications as i was saying for the earlier slide any irregularity however small is tracked and reported by civil making application for further loans difficult now the system is every bank they pass on all the informations about all the loans at every month to this civil so civil has got mass information about all the loans available by every individual every company or every proprietorship or every partnership they got the data of loan accounts every month right same way all the banks who issues uh, credit cards they also pass on this credit card payment information to civil every month so they got all the data based on that they will prepare that credit report right credit information bureau of india limited this is this is the full name of civil credit information bureau of india limited is first credit information company now it is trans union civil now actually the name of this civil is 
चेंज टू ट्रांस यूनियन सिविल सिविल स्कोर द वैल्यू ऑफ क्रेडिट क्रेडिट स्कोर रेंजेस फ्रॉम 300 टू 900 द क्लोजर योर स्कोर इज टू 900 द हायर आर द चांसेस ऑफ योर लोन गेटिंग अप्रूव स्कोर अबाउट 60 650 इज जनरली एक्सेप्टेबल टू बैंक्स एंड एफआई नोट इट to maintain a good credit score always pay your dues on time keep your balances low that is loan uh, loan value maintain a healthy mix of credit secured and unsecured apply for new credit in moderation apply for new credits in moderation you think how much you will you really no need the loan you can draw your savings from somewhere wherever possible monitor your co-sign guaranteed and joint account regularly Co sign guaranteed and joint account regular. Mind it. Review your credit report once a year. Life and general insurance. What is insurance? This risk may result into financial loss. Insurance is being availed to protect your assets or life. now this is now actually there are two kind two kinds of insurances one is life life insurance everybody knows about it and another is non life non life covers all insurances like your health insurance uh, car insurance earthquake fire and all the other sundry insurance other which are not life insurance they are called non life insurance and they are called general insurance also that is may result in financial loss right insurance is prudent way of to transfer such risk to an insurance company insurance is an arrangement by which a company or the state company or the state undertakes to provide a guarantee of compensation for specified loss damage illness or death in return for payment of specified premium it is basically an agreement between the ins- insurance company and the insurer that insurance company takes the risk uh, to reimburse and uh, undertakes to provide guarantee of compensation for specified loss the life and property of an individual are sound, uh, surrounded by risk of death disability types of insurance pure term plans now actually under life insurance there are there are two types a uh, pure term plans you know this term plans are life insurances which is uh, where the insured value will be quite high and the premium will be quite low compared to the insured value today this is the most preferred life insurance plan by everyone term plan okay credit link insurance cover that means you can insure your life linking it to your loan amount loan account and loan amount also non life insurance as i said car vehicle health insurance shop insurance fire and burglary and all preventing financial frauds protect your money beware of frauds आरबीआई से सतर्क रहिए जानकार बनिए नेवर शेयर योर फाइनेंशियल डिटेल्स लाइक क्रेडिट डेबिट कार्ड नंबर सीवीवी एटीएम क्रेडिट कार्ड पिन यूपीए नंबर नेट बैंकिंग मोबाइल बैंकिंग पासवर्ड ओटीपी डोंट शेयर यू यूपीआई पिन और प्रिटेक्स ऑन प्रिटेक्स ऑफ रिसीविंग मनी नथिंग कम्स फ्री इन दिस वर्ल्ड आई टेल यू डोंट स्कैन QR code received from a stranger. Protect your money. Beware of frauds. Beware of fraudsters pretending to be calling from the bank. That is the same bank from you where you maintain your account. They will say that you they have to update update KYC or uh, police or or it can be from police or government office or RBI because no such agency. ask for any of your financial details it is only the fraudster in order to perpetrate the fraud they get this information from you directly from the horse's mouth 
do not download any mobile app based on telephone calls emails from unknown sources avoid clicking on any attachment links received in mails from unknown sources suppose if somebody sends you a uh, payment details some uh, uh, link right that link will be seen in your whatsapp or a message in blue color it will become blue color don't click on it don't click on it unless you know that guy properly beware of frauds don't be attracted by investment schemes promising very high returns this could be fraudulent schemes there will be so many people come come 120% received assured zero risk there is nothing like zero risk everything is even life itself is a risk do not respond to unsolicited offers many times you get this offers so in, in your whatsapp right so much of him but apple telephone free forward this link to so many people it's all useless bogus never nothing comes free mind it nomination and will nomination and will ensure nominations in all kind of investment bank accounts bonds probably mutual funds demat account everywhere ensure that you have done nomination this is very 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 important make it a thoughtful exercise update the nomination immediately if circumstances are changed this will happen only as your age goes up make a soft copy upload it on clouds and keep a hard copy file of all your investment organized in and name wise based on about data make a will earlier the better remember nomination and will can always be updated later on the matter whenever you want to change the will you can change it so want to change the nomination change it thank you thank you so much now still our class will continue i am just coming out of Dhruvin, if there are any questions on the uh, YouTube, if uh, students have asked, please uh, do mention it to sir. Or else, sir, it was one of the fabulous sessions. Uh, I uh, joined it late, but the way you were presenting was extraordinary. I mean, like covering each and every sections of what uh, financial life is all about. Really, we are very much thankful, much deserved uh, lecture, and thanks a lot. Sorry for the delay. We actually wanted a lecture, and we were into the transition phase, which I had a talk with you. Uh, yes, thanks a lot, uh, Dhruvin. Beta, if yes. uh, there are any questions, do ask. And sir, there is a possibility that this would this is YouTube live, so students would be asking us later on. So we'll be uh, sending you on WhatsApp as well the questions. There is a okay. possibility. Sure, sure, sir. Because yes, you know, sir. there Thank are many so students who are in class. There are yeah. many questions in the class, so they would be you know watching this. We have this. Uh, we I have made this arrangement that it, within 24 hours, every every GEC student should watch, and then they can ask any question if they want to ask. Okay, sure. You can send me the. You can send me the list of. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I will. Right? Definitely, definitely. Whatever yes, your requirements yeah. are, Dhruvin has already said me that would be supplied uh, in total to you, no sir, no doubt. And uh, definitely, if there are any questions, it would be definitely, definitely addressed to you, sir. Dhruvin, it's all your show, please. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Jitendra Rawal, sir, for such an informative session. This will surely help each one of us. Uh, I would like to thank you, Principal, sir, and Himanshu, sir, for let us coordinate uh, conduct this event. And I also like to thank you, Media Cell, Media Club of GC Pawnagar, for the constant support. Thank you. All. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for joining. Dhruvin, Dhruvin. Ah, yes, sir. Uh, uh, still, we got some time. Shall we go for that? Uh, ah, sure, sir. Sure, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Sure, sir. Okay. Right. Shall I sh share the screen?
Dhruvin, are you able to listen to me? Ah, uh, yes, sir. You are. Acha, okay, Dhruvin. I'll yeah. just get out and again get in. Okay, sir. No problem. Because uh, that matter is lying somewhere. I'll okay, bring it on WhatsApp and then I'll be I'll be sharing, but I'll be explaining. Most okay, often. sir. Okay. Okay. Ha. Okay. So I'll be there. Hello. Ha, ah, yes sir. Yes, I will share. So we are continuing with your class. We'll take 10, 15 more minutes. Actually, there was a special request from Dhruvin that I should say something on stock market. Now, actually, stock yes. market is a very vast subject. No? Actually, you cannot learn it so very easily in such a short, short period. So I thought that let us at least talk about the uh, terminology of the stock market which is generally used and uh, uh, we need to understand them first right so we are talking about the basic terminology or concepts okay now as i uh, said in my talk warren buffett started his investing investments at the age of 11 or 13 and he got the power of company and even though he started such an at such an early age, he was still feeling that he was late to start his business of shares. Still. Okay. Now stock market. Stock market is volatile. What is volatility? Volatility is uh, movement of the stock prices going up and going down. Now actually you also know that there is one sensex and there is one nifty. Okay. Now this Sensex has got about thirty stocks. Sir, Pick, uh, uh, sir, your screen supply, is sir? not visible. Screen is, but actually you are. Acha, okay. Ah, uh, to shu kar shu paso nikliyo. Ha, to ek possible thay to. Ah, uh, you can present now. Ah, yes, sir. Now visible. Dekha? Ah. Now, see, stock market is volatile. Because it is volatile, we know that it is risky. What is volatility? The movement of the stock prices going up or going down. Nobody knows when it will go up, when it will go down. Nobody can time to enter a market or even to exit the market. As I have said in my talk, 
Yes. But actually, it is risky. It is considered risky in the short term. But in the long term, it definitely pays. We have seen the uh, example of compounding effect. We had taken an SIP, which had grown to almost five and a half times of your total investment. That was the period was such a long period of 35 years. That is why. But it is not necessary that all your investment should be of 35 years. Not necessary. Now, actually, the length of the period for which you have to remain invested will depend upon your goal. Right? Suppose there is a goal to uh, to marry of your daughter who is still young. Right? So when he when she becomes marriageable at that time, that is say suppose her age is now five years, and you think that. Uh, you want to marry her off at around 22, then you got uh, 15 plus 2, 17 years for investment. Right? And if you remain invested for a longer period, mutual fund or even share market, you can say because mutual fund also they invest their money in share and other such securities. Right? If you remain invested for a longer period, it will definitely. But in short run, no, it may not be. But still, there are so many players in the stock market who play on the daily basis and they also make money and they also lose money. Huh? 1991, Sensex was below 5,000. 1991. Pre Harshad Mehta period. You all must have seen this. Came 1992 or Big Bull. I just saw it. Big Bull, I saw some two, three days back. Scan 1992, I had seen earlier. That is how all the sc uh, <laughs> scams happen. That is, finding the loophole in the system, plugging it in your own manner. Right? This is how all the scams happen. 1992, it was about 5,000 sensex, and uh, uh, now it is. 55,000, long period of 30 years, right? How much it has grown by 11 times, right? Money control is a good site to know all about stock, stock market. You can also maintain your portfolio in money control. And it will also give you your total profit and loss on daily basis, okay? Actually, generally, market goes up when the government is stable. This is one of the important factors. There are so many other factors which move the markets. Like, say, uh, any kind of international event, that will have an effect of, on the Indian market also. Because ultimately, all the international market, money market, are all interlinked. Money flow from US to India also. And it can also go back to America, US, right? So now the world is a one nation now. That is why even an international market effect also affects Indian market. Right? Let us see what is long term capital gain. Long term capital gain, which is taxable as per the income tax loss. But what is long term? Long term is holding a stock for at least one year. If you hold it for one year and thereafter you sell it, you will be getting this long term capital gain and the income tax guidelines, according to the income tax guideline, you will be getting the benefit of not paying the tax. It will depend upon the uh, rules presently available at the time of your encashment of your capital. Dividend. What is it? What is dividend? You see, when you place your fixed deposit in a bank, what return you get? The return you get is the interest, right? Interest. Now, when you invest your funds in short share market, buy you, buy you, you buy shares, what you get is dividend. Now, what is dividend? The dividend is a return on your investment. It is not necessary that companies should pay this dividend every year. Not necessary. It is not mandatory. 
dividend is given on face value you know this face value is different from the market value suppose for example britannia share of britannia market uh, value will be something like more than 3000 now okay but you know what is its face value face value is only 1 rupee and britannia may say that we are going to pay 100% return on your dividend as dividend on your share holdings 100% but 100% is only 1 rupee per share because its face value is 1 rupee you understand so dividends are given on the face value of the share it is not mandatory to declare this dividend every year right it is company's discretion and decision this uh, dividend income was free up to last year i think now recently i think they they've removed this and it is made it taxable sometimes very many a times you will find this term uh, come dividend and ex dividend in market come dividend and ex dividend what is come dividend come dividend means with cumulated dividend that is uh, when the dividend is not paid and before that whatever the price is there of the uh, share is shown as come dividend ex dividend once the dividend is paid then it becomes ex dividend okay. share certificate what is share certificate it is basically a proof of your investment in the company earlier they used to issue a physical share certificate in a paper now this all has been dematerialized but still in the market there are for every company there will be at least 1% of their total share holdings which is still in raw form of paper which is not yet dematerialized there will be so many people who may not be aware of that so they might have expired whatever be the reason but still 100% of the share holdings is not yet dematerialized still there are some cash shares i mean physical shares available in the market they are lying for some reason not known to us only known to them maybe the ignorance maybe the unavailability of dmat account they don't know what to do or how to convert it into a dmat they don't know. but at present whenever you buy a share you get only an entry in your dmat account that you hold so much of shares in this particular company that is the dematerialized thing so it is the share is not a material thing now material thing is one which you can touch or feel right so demat this dematerialization means that share is not in a material form so that is why it is called dematerialized form acha you must have heard about top line and bottom lines what is top line top line is sales of the company cnbc when you watch cnbc you must have heard about so many people talking about the top line has, has grown the top line has gone down the bottom line has gone up bottom line has gone up what is that now actually bottom line means the profit that is the bottom line top line is sales okay generally actually whenever you want to buy or sell a share you will have to compare these things over 5 years over 5 years how the sales has gone up or how the profits have moved then also you will be getting profit after tax you can also cover them suppose sales value has gone up but profit has gone down during that year you try to find out why it has gone down this is the small way of making your own judgment split what is split split is when share is split into more than one suppose a uh, uh, share of a company is uh, face value of the uh, share is say 10 rupees now 
okay and it is trading at say 1000 rupees per share in the market i am giving you an example to understand what is split right and also bonus the bonus and split is almost like same so uh, suppose a company say, declares that their shares are going to be split into number of shares and the face value will be reduced to 5 rupees instead of 10 rupees this is the declaration so that is the declaration date first second thing will be so that is the declaration or announcement date right there will be one cut off record date there will be whenever a company makes any kind of announcement whether it be for dividend or split or bonus when they make an announcement generally three dates are involved first is announcement date date of declaration when they announce that either the uh, company is going to pay dividend or the company shares are going to be split or company is going to issue bonus shares okay so first is record date second is uh, first is declaration date sorry not record date but it is declaration date second will be record date and the third will be x bonus or x dividend or x is announced the benefits which they are going to give to the shareholder that is the date of announcement okay second is record date record date is the cut off date on which a person should have their shares in their demat account on that day to avail the benefit either of split or of dividend or of bonus that is the record date right and x date is x date is after the bonus is paid it will become x date right so bonus has already been declared and it will be available to so many people who hold the shares as on the record date and it becomes x bonus later on samjhai chhe getting it i actually market starts at 9:15 but but before that there is a pre market session where uh, because in the early morning now there will be so many people moving to the market to place their order so during the pre market session everybody is allowed to place order so first 7 minutes 9 to 9 7 for 2 3 minutes there will be some adjustments and thereafter market will stabilize and an actual market hours will start at 9:15 to 3:30 because if if uh, everybody moves uh, rushes to the market at 9:15 which is the market our time then there will be so many volatility in the first two hours first 15 minutes itself because everybody want to either buy or or to sell right so actually they have, they have kept this pre market session now actually you also must be hearing about this gap up opening or gap down opening what is gap up opening when a share is open and at the opening price is higher than the yesterday's closing price when the opening price of a share is higher than the yesterday's closing price then it is a gap up opening suppose a share has closed at say 1000 rupees yesterday right so obviously the share market has to open with 100 rupees 1000 rupees but it may there is so much of demand for that share 
that share that there is some some announcement coming or some rumor going on and that share will open at 1010 so 10 rupees is opening gap yesterday it had closed at 1000 today it is opening at 1010 so that is the gap gap up opening gap down opening means suppose the closing value was 1000 rupees and now next day morning at 915 it opens with uh, say 990 so actually it has gone down when compared to the previous day's rate right so that is gap down opening bulls and bears you all must have heard about this and you also must be knowing that bulls expect prices to go up whereas bears expect prices to go down and under both the situations both these people can make money they can make money. right unchanged so many a times when the market opens uh it may not be gap up opening or gap down opening it may open at the same rate at which it had closed yesterday previous day evening at 3:30 or whatever the time okay right? so in that case you'll find unch mentioned in the uh, in your screen somewhere that is beside the price this is unchanged it is unchanged when compared to the previous day's close that is what it means generally actually all the uh, stock brokers they offer two way quotes two way quotes bid price and offer price they will be giving both the price for buying as well as sell, selling bid price is the price at which the broker is ready to buy or market is ready to buy that is both broker will be showing the market price okay so you have to you can take this as a market price or you can give your price also that you want to buy only at this rate not higher not lower okay so they give two uh, quotes bid price and offer price bid price is buying price and offer price is selling price they offer to sell that is the best price to buy bid price and uh, offer price is best price to sell bid will be lesser than offer price obviously by bid this buying price i said right so everybody wants to buy low and sell high this is the basic idea of buying or selling any kind of buying sorry you buy low that is you buy at a lesser price and you want to sell you price you sell it at a higher price very simple you know volume and number of shares volume also you will find in the uh, on your screen when you open any market uh, screen you know you find volume somewhere volume is total number of shares which are traded during that day okay average volume is also given sometimes average average volume of 5 days 10 days what does this volume indicate volume indicates that many people are interested in this sales either to buy or sell it could be because of some activity going on there in the company so some announcement is being expected for whatever be the reason so higher the volume that means more people are chasing that share today's high and low all this also you will find on your screen that is today's lowest price and today's highest price and 52 weeks low and high 52 weeks ma kitlo the lowest price and highest price settlement of all the deals takes place at t plus 2 working days t plus 2 that is the transaction day plus 2 working days if there are uh, saturdays and sunday they will have 